So the treatment of prostate cancer really depends on the grade of the cancer as well as the stage of the cancer. Essentially, how fast is it growing and where is the cancer? So when dealing with a clinically localized prostate cancer or one that's confined to the envelope of the prostate, I often get asked, do I need to treat the entire prostate? Specifically, do I need to remove the entire prostate or radiate the entire prostate? So the answer is no. So in patients who are found to have a clinically localized prostate cancer that is confined to a specific region of the prostate and that we can see that area, for example, on an MRI, we may be able to treat them with what we call focal therapy approaches, wherein we target specifically the cancer, but are able to spare the remainder of the prostate and the surrounding structures. This allows for better preservation of functional aspects of one's life. So for example, we can preserve the sphincter of the prostate a little bit more aggressively and maintain urinary continence. We can preserve the nerves around the prostate and maintain sexual function. Unfortunately, not everyone is a candidate for focal therapies of the prostate. In patients whose biopsy demonstrates a more disseminated form of prostate cancer, so for example, there's prostate cancer noted not only in spots that are visible on an MRI, but also outside of those spots that are seen in an MRI, we may have to pursue a more aggressive treatment strategy that involves either removal of the entire prostate or radiation to the entire prostate. Whether removal or radiation is pursued really depends on patient-related factors such as age, what other competing health risks or comorbidities they may have, as well as patient preferences, because you can imagine the side, of pre the side effect profile for surgery and radiation differ quite vastly. For patients who have prostate cancer that is not clinically localized, but more locally advanced, so for example, within the soft tissue around the prostate, having breached the envelope of the prostate, and even in some patients who may have localized disease, a disease that's within the local pelvic lymph nodes, we may have to pursue a more aggressive and often multiple modality form of treatment. That may occur in the form of surgery, radiation with hormone therapy, or a combination thereof. In patients who have cancer that has spread further beyond the prostate, so for example, more lymph nodes are involved, or bone, or organs, then we have to take a more systemic strategy to their treatment. That often involves shutting off their testosterone access with an injection that essentially cuts off the ability of your body to make testosterone. And sometimes they may involve chemotherapy as well as radiation therapy. Ultimately, whether a patient pursues surgery, radiation, or a combination of radi radiation and hormone therapy depends on the biology of the cancer, so specifically the grade, the pa and patient-related factors, such as how healthy are they, what is their age, and also what are their preferences, because understandably, radiation and surgery have different side effect profiles. In patients who have more locally advanced cancer, specifically that which has breached the envelope of the prostate into the surrounding soft tissue, a combination of treatment approaches may be needed. And this, this may involve a combination of surgery followed by radiation and hormone therapy or potentially radiation and hormone therapy without surgery. In those individuals in whom the cancer is more diffuse in its presence or metastatic, specifically to lymph nodes, bone, or organs, we then have to pursue a more systemic strategy to treatment. And that may involve shedding off the testosterone axis and potentially combining this with chemotherapy and radiation therapy. My name is Paris Shah. I'm a urologic oncologist at the Mayo Clinic. I'm Derek Lomas, a urologist at Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic on Prostate Health offers patients clarity on issues dealing with the prostate. It'll walk you through topics ranging from prostate health, screening for cancer, enlargement, inflammation, and, and really covers all things related to the prostate. It can be a one-stop resource for you. So this is a resource to help provide clarity, not only for patients, but also their families as they navigate their journey dealing with prostate issues.